Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start a new prospect. I've been looking uh, to see what I want to do and I think what I want to do is clustered extended survey in the Riverlands. Act like they're invincible, but they need a hand on the surface. They're looking for data, survey info on a specific area. I guess they think there's exotics down there. Which gives you at least two good reasons to take this one. Okay, so uh, this will pay out three hundred. We need two hundred to get the bow, um, and it's a it's a two skull seven day mission, and he, we might be able to find some exotics while we're at it too. Um, and we get to go back to the Riverlands, which I'm excited to do. So so far, it's definitely been my favorite biome. Um, so I think we have all the loadout that we want to have here. And let's, uh, let's rock and roll. I'll see you guys on the planet. You know, I only care about one thing. Power. But at least they're consistent. They need data. Doesn't weigh a thing, but getting it can be killer. So check your HUD and move out, because time ain't your friend down here. Okay, so um, we are back up in the north, um, which means we are probably really close to that cave that we were in the last time that has all of that ore. So that's probably going to be a good place for us to, to start. I think that cave is... Uh, right over that direction and um, I would imagine we're gonna need to gear up at least a tier three for this quest I mean I guess I don't know that for sure um, but what we have to do is um, set up I think multiple scan devices and try and keep keep them going uh, or rather keep multiple scan devices going because the more that we keep going at the same time the Quick, quicker the mission will complete or something to that effect i think that's what i read on it so anyway um as usual guys i'll get started with uh, the base build and bring you back with an update as we progress see you in a bit all right guys we are back and i am pretty well geared up i have been living in uh, the big cave here as you can see uh, I did go ahead and grind up to the fabricator and got myself a titanium pickaxe and the hunting rifle. And so, uh, and the reason I did that is because I could. I mean, you know, with this cave and all the resources that were that were in it, <laughs> there's actually still some resources way in the back, but it's mostly just iron that's left now, and there's still a ton of that. Um, it was so easy to do that because everything was right here that I went ahead and just got up to the hunting rifle whether or not i actually need to for this mission i don't know but we did it because we could so that's where we're at um i'm also using the biofuel lamp this time instead of the lantern i haven't decided if i like it better it's brighter and has a lot more distance than the lantern but the problem is it's it swings around a lot and you know when you're doing stuff like mining for example the light just bounces around all over the place so it's a little bit irritating um, but man it is a lot brighter and has a lot more distance so it's kind of nice you know if you're running through the woods at night you can really see a lot further uh, but I haven't decided if I like it better than the lamp but we're using it for you know for this prospect anyways and I'll, I'll come up with a verdict later uh, so I think we're ready to start the quest itself uh, I don't know anything about this quest haven't watched uh, anybody else do it in, in fact in general I avoid uh, watching YouTube videos uh, or otherwise you know reading up on on prospects that I haven't done yet just so you know they're fresh and new for me when I do them for the first time um, so I haven't I don't in fact we haven't done an extended survey at all yet so all I know is based upon the description is that we got to set up multiple devices and have them scan for a certain period of time and keep them on and that's really it so we're gonna figure out what all that means um, so I haven't really bothered to do anything uh, super fancy schmancy with food. Um, what do I have here? So yeah, I've got fish and flatbread. We should uh, and berries. Yeah, we'll just go with that for now. Um, I can, if, you know, if I decide to do it later, I certainly can. But 
I haven't done anything with that up to this point. Uh, so let's see, we've got the recurve bow, we got aluminum arrows for our bow, uh, we have the shotgun, and we have the hunting rifle, and I have some ammo in here. So let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak off on our bison buddy there. Kablam! Okay, we got him. Um, there's a deer here. Might as well take him out too. Okay, so let's head out uh, to the quest location and see what uh, we got to do. We got to pick up some scanning equipment. We'll uh, harvest this guy here, get our arrow back. Yeah, having all that stuff just right there in that cave has been just made things super easy. I have, you know, gone around, done some hunting and exploring and found another cave not too far from here. Uh, and it's a big cave. So if we do decide, you know, we want to go all the way up to, you know, getting the material processor and all that stuff, um, I am going to need to go to that cave because, like I said, I pretty much cleaned the current cave out of everything except for iron. Uh, but I do have, you know, some stuff. Um, you know, like I have some copper ingots and stuff already smelted, but probably not enough to do <clears throat> everything we would need to do. Okay, anyway, uh, so we are supposed to be going... Um, there was a spot down here that showed up yesterday. It's the next day for me in real life. I don't see it now. Uh, okay. Uh, there has been an update. Oh, by the way, we have new talent points now, too. Why do I have 33 talent points? Did they... Looks like the whole thing was reset. Wait a minute. Okay, so no, I've still got my solo talent points, and I've got six more points that I can spend. Heavy hitter. General increase to melee damage. Slice and dice. Increase firearm projectile damage. Oh, that's kind of nice. Stick of destiny. Increase spear. What's this? Sea, oh, sea animal health bars. Yeah, that's kind of immersive breaking for me. I don't like that, actually. Increase knife, melee, and throw damage. That would be nice. And increase bow damage would be nice. Uh, but before we actually spin those points, um, what else would we maybe want to do? I don't really care about XP at this point. Yield from foraging, yield from hunting, more yield from hunting. Yield from felling trees. Low maintenance, we've already got that maxed out. 15% physical resistance from animals would be useful. Reduce sprain. All buildables weigh less in your inventory. Decreased stamina cost for firewhacker. Hedgehogs deal more damage. Food buffs persist longer. That would be kind of nice to have, wouldn't it? Um, okay. So... I'm thinking this would definitely be useful. Um, so let's take that. Let's unlock this so that we can unlock 5% damage with bows, 10% damage with bows, 10% reload speed of bows. Yeah, let's take that. Bring a gun to uh, a gunfight. Okay, let's take that. We have two points. Let's take slice and dice, 5% damage with knives. And I'm going to do bows. And the reason for that is because, you know, that's our first weapon. And so it's just going to make us a little more effective early on. I mean, technically, we already kick ass with the, with the gun. We probably didn't even need to put that point in there. Um, but, you know, we use these at the beginning. So beefing these up, I think, is going to be more useful. Okay, cool. Um, so that takes care of those. Now, how is it that I have 33 more points? I thought we were only getting like 12 new points. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Did they reset? No, they didn't reset everything. Okay. Well, based upon... Um oh, by the way, this is update 12, if I didn't mention that. Um... Based upon what I just said about bows, you know, being our first early weapon, and knives for that matter, too, 
I'd like to focus on <clears throat> getting getting those a little more beefy. So if we so we we put increased damage with bows. What does this do? Crafted bows have increased durability. Okay. Cheaper bow crafting, nah. Reduce stamina usage when drawing bows. Hmm. Quick load could be useful. Arrow speed, accuracy with bows would definitely be useful. Train to bowman. 10% wear of bows and crossbows. Eh, maybe. Okay, well, we looks like we have to unlock either this or this to get down lower. So what do we have lower? Chance to craft double when crafting arrows. Cheaper bow crafting. See, that could be useful. This is, seems pretty pointless to me. Increased critical hit multiplier. Now that we would want to get for sure. 5% chance to slow hit with bow. Yeah, okay, that's useful. What's this? 5% chance to wound on hit with bows. Doesn't arrow, arrows. Oh, bleed over time. Ooh, wow. Okay, that would be yes, useful as well. Fired arrows will lock on targets. Chance for arrows to find targets more easily. Fired arrows will lock. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. That kind of seems a little bit cheesy. I mean, the auto aim's already better than it should be, I think, in this game. So I'm not sure about that one. That seems OP. Increased critical hit multiplier on bows. Yeah, that's the one. Wait, is there two for that? Yeah, okay. And then this is chance to fire an additional arrow. That's some kind of magic voodoo shit there. Chance for arrows to strike to immobilize. Very useful there, too. Okay, so here's what I think we need to do. Um... <sighs> If I, I'm just trying to decide which direction to go down this tree in. 50% maximum durability. I mean, that's not that useful, to be honest. It's just not that big of a deal to repair a bow. Um, reload of speed would be useful. Stamina consumed is not, that never seems to be a problem with me. Aim speed with bows and crossbows. Arrow speed. Okay, so I think what we should do is open this up. And open this up. And open that up. Okay, and then this gives us the critical damage there. What was this again? Chance to slow on hit. That would be useful in the early game. We got 28 points, so let's take it. This gives us chance to fire an additional... That seems cheesy, cheaty magic stuff to me. Increased critical hit multiple. Yeah, we want that. And we want 5% chance to immobilize on hit. I'm not taking this because um, I think that's cheaty. I think this is cheaty, but I had to take it in order to get to this. And bleed over time, super useful. 50% chance to wound bleed over time. Okay, so um, what was this again? Chance to... Craft double when crafting arrows. Eh. And this is the durability. Eh. Uh, so let's go back to here and increase, uh, increase reload speed of bows and arrow speed and accuracy. So I think all that's going to just super help us in the, in the very early uh, prospects, you know, when we're using our bows. Okay, so that gives me everything I think I want in bows. The rest of that stuff is not doesn't seem to be a big deal to me or seems to be too big of a deal too much op now let's go over to our kniffies for a second actually we could look at our guns um five chance chance to not consume ammo that's more magic voodoo shit cheaty accuracy with firearms wouldn't be bad critical damage with firearms let's beef that up to 15 percent let's beef up accuracy don't care about wear rates not that big of a deal um, and everything else here we already maxed out. Firearms weigh less in your inventory. Faster movement speed with firearms. How many points do I have? Nine? Okay. Sorry about that. I had to, had to take a phone call. Uh, all right, where were we? We were talking about this. So, movement speed. What I want to actually do is I want to give the knife a little more love. And there is the running with knives option, which is this one. And I, I usually keep my knife out when I'm running around um, just because it it's the smallest thing and it's not taking up so much screen space so we're gonna do running with knives we're gonna increase we already increased damage with knives critical damage with knives let's increase that 
as you can see, I'm putting all my talent points in just in, in, doing damage. The rest of the stuff, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some other really good stuff we could do, but this is what we're doing. 5% uh, chance to instantly skin. Oh, increase sneak when holding a knife. That's interesting. I usually have the bow when I'm sneaking, though. Critical knife hits immobilized target. That would be useful, too. Uh, what's over here? I'm out in a freaking storm, aren't I? Yeah, let's... I got totally sidetracked by these telephones. I forgot about them. Let's go back into our cave and finish this up. Besides, I might... Could have gotten attacked by a bear while I was doing all that, too. I've already killed, I don't know, probably at least a half dozen bears. And have been killed by one, too. Which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. Actually, I was... When I got killed by that bear, it was one of those deals where he had... Uh, friends helping him, like wolves and hogs and shit, and I was in some heavy brush and couldn't maneuver situation. But it happens. Okay. So even though there, it's still raining in our cave, you can see my storm exposure going down because uh, it, it is actually sheltered in this spot. Okay, let's go back to here now. Uh, so we have three points left. Um... So we took running with knives, aim speed, nah, I, I don't, I don't throw my knife, I just never have. Wear rate, nah, none of that's that big of a deal. Knives deal felling damage, 20% felling damage to crap the knives. For like cutting a tree down, who in the hell would do that when you have an axe? That doesn't make sense to me. Alright, what I would like to do, cheaper knife crafting, don't care about throwing knives. Don't care about throwing knives. Okay, what I would like to do, I think, I'd like to get down to this perceived threat and the critical, but we only have three points left, which means we're going to have to take this to unlock this. 10% chance to immobilize on hit. 4%, yeah, I'm going to take this. Okay, and that spends all our talent points. Okay, cool. So I'm really happy that we got running with knives because that adds another 10% speed. And like I said, it's usually the knife that I have out when I'm just running around, out and about. Um, and we increased our, our effectiveness with bows, increased our effectiveness a little bit more with firearms, and even more so by taking uh, some of these talents over here. Um, so I'm pretty happy with all of that. Oh my goodness, this storm. What a pain in the butt. Okay, well, I guess I will bring you guys back where the storm is. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go. It's through the worst part. Uh, what I don't understand, though, is why the marker isn't showing up. It was somewhere around in here, I think. Uh, but it's not there now. It must have something to do with the update, I guess. As I recall, like I said, I think it was like right around in here. So let's just put our own marker down and see if we can figure out where the hell it's at. I guess if nothing else I could look on uh, an earlier recording of this prospect and see if I can figure out where it is. I'll, I'll do that if we can't find it, but we'll see if we can find it first. So it's supposed to be right over here where my marker is. Okay. We just heard the update noise. Now I just got... There we go. Okay. Yeah, we were close. <laughs> okay, so we have four portable beacons. Let's take all of those. Okay, so survey progress, 0%. Estimated 999 minutes. Deploy multiple devices to speed up scanning. Deploy sheltered device near Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. Okay, so we have these four areas. And it has to be sheltered. Okay. So, I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we go back to our cave base. And consider opening up maybe the concrete tree. Uh, and or the aluminum tree. Uh, is that, that must be tier three, right? The aluminum stuff wouldn't be that expensive to make, actually. I've got a ton of aluminum. Shut up. He wasn't actually even trying to attack me, was he? So 
sounds like we still have combat music. Okay. Yeah, something's angry with this. What is it? Where is it? Oh, it's just a wolf. How in the hell did that not kill you? Damn. Level 118 wolf took three point-blank shotgun shells to kill him. That's impressive. Um, okay. So, I'm thinking we consider either aluminum or concrete building um, to get something a little stronger than stone to put these in because my guess is that they're probably going to be attacked by critters. Uh, and I've seen a bear do some pretty significant damage to stone uh, in the waterfall <laughs> mission. And um, so we might want to go with something a little more, you know, a little stouter than that. So I'm going to head back to base and decide which of those two uh, high, higher tier building materials I, I want to go with. And then I'm going to make... going to make sometimes the guns will attract the bears um, shelters little shelters for these things and then we'll, we'll go set them down and see what that's all about all right so I will bring you guys back with an update when we're ready to do that all right guys I am back and uh, we have the stuff to make concrete buildings. I decided to go with concrete because, I don't know, it seems stronger than the aluminum stuff. Um, so, let's see. Uh, we're just going to make enough for the first building, our first scan site, and go out, set it down, and just kind of check things out before I do the other ones. Uh, so that means we're going to need two floors. Uh, one for the floor, one for the roof, and then we're going to need four walls. And um, I'm going to need one more set of rebar to make the fourth wall and I'm probably gonna have to make some more steel too to, to do all this uh, oh yeah okay do that and then I'm also going to I want to make a reinforced door here so we need some rope and iron ingots uh, we'll grab those have rope in here too. Okay. So I don't know um, if it's the weather or the critters that are going to be a threat to the doors. I need to drop a couple things out of here. Let's grab the, the wood out of here and put that over here in the carpenter bench. Okay, so we got the four walls, we got this, we got the scanner down here. I only see one scanner down there. Uh, when I looted that crate, I, I did, uh, you know, take all, the, the take all thing. Um, but hopefully it didn't make the other ones disappear and they're still there. I wasn't really paying that close attention to it. Uh, let's see, we made some more dough here, which we need to get cooking up. So let's get that going. Um, actually, even before the fish, I don't care about the fish as much because... That was a lot harder to come by. Refilled my O2 bottle here. And this will just drink out of the river to fill up. And this damn storm's just about over. Okay. Take some berry buff there. And I think we're about ready to go. Um, whatever. I'm just going to put the fish in there. Okay. Let's head to our first uh, spot, which is going to be right here. We'll mark it and uh, set this down, and then we'll see what happens. When I cut the camera, uh, I went out and mined up some silica, and then a storm hit, and that fire hit, and it just tanked my frames. Could barely move. Um, almost had to, like restart the game but then it then it freed up and now it seems to be okay 
Okay, this appears to be the spot. I guess just as long, as long as we're anywhere within the circle. Um, so, <clears throat> why don't we go right here? Let me turn the light on. And set you down. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring the, um, the door. Alright, that's fine. Let's get rid of all that crap. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh, yeah, let's put this on, too. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab... Felt like something was sneaking up behind me. Okay, let's put this in here. And I guess it's deployed. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is it looks like I don't have the other devices, so I'm assuming they just stayed in the crate. Uh, so the crate's back down right here. I'm going to remark it. So I'm going to run down get another device. Actually, no, I'm going to run back to the base. Yeah, I'm going to run back to the base, make another building, and get my door. Put the door on here. And then run down here and get another device and set up these other ones too. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I have completed uh, the mission, as you can see, in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, basically, I just went to the other three sites, uh, set down the little concrete box, put the thingamadoodle inside, and that was it. Um, so no no problems. I didn't have to go back and repair anything or whatever. Uh, but <coughs> because we're, you know, we were in this cave, which is almost completely cleaned out now, I figured, well, um, Saul, uh, the narrator guy, said, uh, seemed to imply that there was exotics around and so I figured well let's just grind all the way to the top and make ourselves a radar and see if we can find an exotic vein while we're here since we still have um, you know several days left uh, five over five days left to be precise on this quest uh, so that's where we're at um, so let's set this down here and just see um, what it finds and then I'm going to, uh, my plan is to take the composter and the fabricator with me out into the field and then just make the extractors out there because it just requires electronics and iron ingots um, so that I, so I can just carry everything with me and not have to make multiple trips. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do and I'm just going to show you um, you know, short clips from here on out uh, for the rest of this episode. And then, of course, we'll end it by going back up into space and see what the end reward is. So let's just, uh, I'll keep you with me until this first scan is done and we'll just kind of see which direction it's pointing us in. Uh, I guess it was kind of silly for me to do this because there's really, <laughs> it's, it's going to point in that direction. There's nothing, the map ends over there, but that's all right, whatever. Okay, scan's complete. And, well, okay, no, that was somewhat useful because we know not to go look over this way. So, yeah, so basically um, we'll start kind of heading down through here and see if we can figure out where it is. Okay, so I will, uh, I'll, I'll probably wait and just bring you guys back when I actually find the node just so you can see where it is and then, you know, just give you, give you some updates as we uh, complete this mission. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, bye, guys, I'm back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I found uh, the deposit. It's right here. It even glows at night. That's cool, man. Um, all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a temporary shelter uh, and then set down the... Uh, whatchamacallit. Let's see. I want to be on sort of kind of flat ground. Maybe we could do it on top of these rocks. We'll set down the fabricator and make the drills. I've got enough equipment with me to make two drills. 
Okay, so let's get that down. I was thinking about doing um, concrete for this, but I didn't have enough carry weight. Okay, so now we're going to set this down here and just put it right there. That's not going to work. Okay, we're going to have to put some... Um, uh, some supporting pulse down. Ah, <clears throat> okay, I don't have... Um, I'm going to have to gather up some materials for that real quick, so give me a second here. Okay, that should be enough for us to make some beams here, so let's just make four of these. And we'll put those in place on the corners. There we go. Now it should support it. Good. Okay. Now, um, let's put this inside of here for now, because there might be multiple nodes. I'm not sure. Um, on the map. So I don't want to get rid of that quite yet. Let's get this thing out of the way. Okay, there's one. And two. And load you up. And load you up. Okay, so while those guys are doing their thing, um, let's grab this again. Because, because if you look at the map here, these are all my scans that I did. There's a beam that seems to indicate it's pointing out that way as if there might be another, another deposit. So why don't we run over to... I don't know if this is going to be far enough away, but let's run to that point and see if we can... You know, see, uh, scan for another one. I'm just going to put that there for now. And, uh, yeah, let's try that and see what happens. Okay, this is about as far this way as I can get. What's it going to say? You're too close. I was afraid of that. Okay, I'm going to have to get further away from the uh, previous scans to see if this is going to work. Um, well, actually, there's a little more area this direction. Okay, let's try it here. Too close. Doggone it. All right. Problem we have now is we got a stupid freaking mountain here. <laughs> we can't really get any further that way. Ah, that sucks, man. All right. What that means is I'm going to have to... Um, I guess we're going to have to run further south to probably around here-ish. Assuming the mountain will let us do that. Um, or I'd have to run back this way and come around through here. Uh, okay, well, I'll uh, I'll figure that out, and I'll bring you guys back with an update if I do, in fact, find another node. If I don't find another node, then you probably won't see me again until we're ready to leave in the dropship with all the exotics from our current, uh, our current site here. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are done. Um, I, I took the scanner down here, and... I, it's unlikely, I, I don't know what this means anyways, but it's unlikely that there's something else on there. There could be, but I don't I don't have enough time left to keep messing with it in real life, actually. Uh, so we have to get out of here. But um, this is what we're bringing back with us for exotics, uh, plus this little extra bit, you know, that's in our inventory. So basically 121 pieces in total. Uh, all right, so uh, we've got our tools with us, our three tools. We've got our uh, canteen and our air thing, which I just did backwards, and we are ready to get out of here. Let's do it. Oh, that was a pretty fun mission, actually. 
and uh, you know I could have done it much quicker than I did but I stuck around ground ground down all the way up to tier 4 so we could get the exotics and yeah so there we go let's take a look at the end result and then I actually need to end this video so we are by the way we're not actually level 50 we're like level 89 or 90 but for some reason it just stays on 50 uh, so what do we end up with here so we got 141. Oh, did I? I must have miscounted that. Okay, well, I'll take 141 over 121 and 300 coin. Very nice. Okay, so that means uh, we now can uh, go to the workshop and finally get the bow that I've been grinding for for so long. Uh, so that's this one here. I've already researched it. We just need to make it. Boom. And then let's go to our loadout and make sure that comes with us on the next drop and we are good to go. All right, you guys, I got to get out of here. We'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.